We'll start at Oklahoma, where a pair of Texas five-star offensive tackles will be visiting. Ty Haywood, Michael Fasusi heading into the trip. Which one do you think OU sits in a better place with? Yeah, Oklahoma in the middle of it for all the elite offensive linemen in the country. That's because of Bill Biedenball. He's arguably the best offensive line coach in the country. He can point to the NFL draft year in and year out. Some of the top guys in the league doing great uh, from his tutelage. And I think there's been times where Oklahoma has led for both of these guys, Fasusi and uh, Ty Haywood. With Fasusi, maybe a and M starting to grab that edge. We've talked a lot about Texas, but maybe it's a and M with the momentum. He's been there at least four times in the Elko era coming off a great official visit. I do think Missouri is a dark horse there. Uh, we talk about NIL not being an obstacle for a couple programs on the show. NIL is no obstacle for the Missouri Tigers right now for some of the guys that they're going after. That includes Michael Fasusi, uh, but uh, he's excited about Texas A&M, but he's always been excited about Oklahoma, Bill Biedenbaugh, the Sooners. And with Ty Haywood, Bill Biedenbaugh, he has known his coaches for so long. I think there's a trust there. I've asked Ty Haywood, who's the best offensive line coach in college football before? He said it was Bill Biedenbaugh. Uh, he's coming off a, a really good visit to Alabama. Uh, that was his dream school growing up. You got a and They've gotten him to campus a few times. Texas is swinging at both of these guys, but it's Oklahoma's turn, and they've been one of the front runners for each of these guys for their entire process.